Hi everybody, this is Vicki and Chuck. It is Thursday, June 2nd, and it is time for our weekly prayer and music podcast. So thank you so much for being here. If you have a request, please go ahead and send that. The email would be the best route. Send it to prayers at Vicki and Chuck. That way it goes directly to our prayer team leader. She will get you on the list. And if you want to join the prayer team, same address, same email address, prayers at vickianchuck.com. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you all of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, commented on the videos, the messages. Father just gave a powerful, beautiful message that just came out yesterday. If you haven't heard it, I encourage you to go listen to it. It's called um, The Days Ahead. Came out on June 1st, 2022. And you will, if you are interested in hearing the messages and you're fairly new to the channel, I have a playlist where all of the messages that he's given me that I've actually started uploading over the last couple of years are on that list. So you might check that out because uh, he's been talking about stuff for quite a while and a lot of those things are happening. And so there you go. Now I'm trying to think of anything else. If you haven't subscribed to Chuck's music channel, I invite you to do that. He invites you to do that. Just go to Chuck Adkins Music on YouTube and you can hear some of his beautiful compositions. Um, all right, guys, we're going to get into this. Hi, Little John. For those of you who are new, Little John is our youngest prayer warrior. He joins us for prayer each week and uh, we can't see him, but we know he's out there. <laughs> And his mama said that he always prays with me when we pray. So, hello, little John. Okay, guys, are you ready? I just have one request that came in this week um, from through Teresa, and that is for uh, Greta. She's asking for prayer for her two adult sons who are uh, trapped in addiction and living on the streets. So. I'm not going to give a lot more information than that because I want to protect people's privacy, but just please pray for Greta's sons. Okay, you guys ready? I, I think what I'm going to do, yep, I am going to do this. I'm going to play, I love this arrangement. This is my uncle, Greg, who's a couple of years older than I am, and he recorded this song for our Call to the Nation CD years ago. And it's an, the song is an old hymn and it's called Of the Father's Love Begotten. So I would really like to play that while we pray. You guys ready? Oh, Father, we thank you so much for what you're doing. We thank you for every single person who comes to this little place where we gather together to pray and to share your words and just to love on each other as we love on you and sit in your presence. Thank you so much, Father, for this time. Thank you for your faithfulness, for your goodness. Your word says that you are good and your mercy endures forever, and we believe you. We believe you. We look around and see what's going on in the world, and we know things are hard and they're going to get more difficult. But Father, we also know that you are purifying your people, that you are still calling people because you said you're not putting off the time of your coming, but you're just not willing for anyone to be lost. So as you continue to call, we want to be faithful to continue to stand with you in this field that we are in now. The field is white and ready to harvest. The laborers are few. Father God, bless us to be willing laborers. Bless us to be faithful to come and seek your will every single day. Thank you for what you're doing. Your word also says that we are to make our requests known with praise and thanksgiving. So we come thanking you for your answers, thanking you for being the mighty God who knows exactly how to answer every need. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the work you're doing in your people and for the ones you're still calling and for the promise of your glorious return one day. But until that day, Father, we, don't, we do not want to neglect our post. We don't want to abandon our post. So we come this day 
and we lift up those requests that are spoken. We pray for Greta's sons. We pray for Greta's heart, for that mama's heart. We pray for all of your children who are in need. We pray for the ones that are on the prayer map and all of the ones that are that have sent in requests just over over the time that we've been doing this but we go beyond that as well father into the hearts and the lives of the people that you love that you want the ones who feel abandoned or neglected who are lost or broken or who are being abused or who are in terribly dangerous situations we pray for the ones who are crying out for you and have no one else around them who knows you or loves you. We pray for the widows. We pray for the orphans. We pray for the widowers, God. We pray for your animals. What What is it we could possibly think isn't important enough to pray about? You are the creator of all things. You know exactly what you want to do in every single life. So we bring these things to you we bring people we bring your creation to you father giving you thanks for your beautiful heart to create us in the first place and we pray for the ones today thank you Lord for the ones who feel unworthy like they couldn't possibly be worth your time or attention father we ask you to bless them to know you created us for your glory you created us for you it's not about us it's all about you it is all about you so help us take our eyes off of ourselves off of the things where we feel we've been wronged or we've been ignored and help us get our eyes back on you because you are the mighty almighty God, the creator of all things, there is no one like you. You are worthy of praise. You are so completely worthy of our adoration and our love and obedience. We lay our sins down and ask you to forgive us, God. Please forgive us. We have sinned and fallen short of your glory. Please show us what we need to see about ourselves. Wash us clean, Father. You created us for your glory. So we want to honor you in the ways that we act, the things we think, the things we say. Bless us to have that great joy of being in your presence. Thank you, Father. Have your way and thank you for every answer to every prayer. We pray in the name of our Savior, Yeshua the Messiah, the Word of God, Jesus the Christ, the Lamb who was slain from the foundation of the world. Amen. I'm going to play some of Chuck's music. You guys, thank you so much for joining us for Prayer and Music Day. We love you very much. Now, here comes Chuck and maybe me, I don't know. But at least I know Chuck's coming. Here we go.
Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God, the Lord our God is one. Sons 